Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. There we go. Do, 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 do. We are watching craziest Dodge Charger police pursuits caught on dash cam today. Let's shush, jump shush, in. Start over. We're gonna start over. Cut. From an Arkansas car thief who rolled his new Hellcat during a high speed chase, and a driver in Atlanta purple. who rammed <laughs> civilian cars to evade the GSP. To a death-defying suspect who managed to wedge his car under a flatbed truck there. and much more. Here are some of the craziest right, Dodge Charger again. police <gasps> chases caught on camera. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> on March 6, 2021, a Georgia State Police officer was watching traffic on the corner of Andrew Young and Centennial Olympic Park when he heard screeching tires approaching him. A black and red Dodge Charger was doing a burnout as they sped down the street. The thing about speeding in dense metro areas is that traffic and stoplights will keep you from running when the cops show up. This driver decided to put everyone's life at risk when he stepped on the gas and led police on this high-speed chase through downtown Atlanta. Damn. Downtown Atlanta. This is a horrible car for a charger, and the license plate says Two Face. So it's a custom license plate, it's a horrible charger, and the chase is on. running from traffic but he's pushing traffic so get out of the way i'm in the middle of a chase here <laughs> oh chad is comfy chad has the popcorn then get some popcorn true and packets of popcorn is not that great <laughs> Good. Yep. Awesome. Ethan Fox is getting popcorn. The driver, later identified as Jimmy Turner, said he was afraid when the cops appeared behind him. Unfortunately, that's no excuse yeah, for fleeing, well, ramming so civilian <laughs> vehicles, and nearly <laughs> taking out three pedestrians before you crash. It's unclear what Jimmy was charged with, but it's likely along the lines of fleeing, reckless driving, and being a general threat to society. As for the innocent fair, drivers fair. he hit, we believe they walked away with only minor injuries. Number eight. Arkansas State Trooper okay, Jacob Bird is no stranger to high-speed chases. He's been involved in dozens works. of pursuits and crashes okay. since he joined the force in 2020. You've probably seen a handful of them on this so channel. May 22nd of 2024 be began as a typical day for right, Trooper Bird. He was out on patrol in southwestern Little Rock when he spotted a suspicious southwestern white Little Rock. He spun around I and tailed him, Little Rocks. eventually getting close enough to run it the vehicle's like plates. They came back expired, so Trooper Bird did what he does best. Be right he tried pulling the suspect over, leading to this dangerous chase up the wrong side of the highway. A uh, white charger. Don't buy a white charger if you want to keep it clean. Especially in somewhere like Arkansas. Yeah, I heard you. Okay. What do we reckon? Does the white charger get away? Or does it get caught by the cops? I mean, it's craziest police pursuits. Doesn't say police captures. How many of these actually get away? He's 
University. Wrong way on University. Oh. Is that a pit? That's a pit. He caught him. Chase over. That was a fast one. Don't you move. University of Mapleville Pike. University of Mapleville Pike. We never learned the driver's name, but we know that he was charged with felony fleeing, driving without a license, and driving with expired tags. Police also wow. found a Taurus 9mm pistol in the vehicle. Judging by his added charge for carrying a weapon, we doubt he was legally allowed to have it. Probably not. Most people don't pay for a gun license. April 9th of 2022. Highway Patrol officers in Forsyth County, Georgia, have just pulled behind a suspected drunk driver. The suspect was seen around 4 a.m. swerving his black Dodge Charger in and out of lanes on Georgia 400. While this driver was willing to pull over at first, he never planned on sticking around. Oh, wait, I think we've seen this. The second he pulls up to him, it's like, yeah, can you stop? And then he runs. Yeah, we, we've seen this one. This is the one that hides in the dark, isn't it? I can say we've seen, we've seen this one, but I will not remember it very well. As the charger pulls away, another officer closes the gap and picks up the chase. Yes. Yes, it is. Really? You have better memories than me. Still such a good engine though. The suspect pulls back onto the highway where the advantage swings in his favor. He floors it and quickly pulls away from our tailing officer. Luckily, a third cop was waiting up ahead with spike strips ready to deploy. But they didn't catch him here, did they? I'm pretty sure this one gets away. No, he doesn't get away. He does get hit by the spike strips and he, he slows down. So I'm pretty sure he slows down because of the spike strips. Good spike is like music to a pursuing officer's ears. Now the suspect has a critical decision. Keep going and risk a catastrophic blowout or pull over and admit defeat. Thankfully, this guy smartens up and opts for the latter. I remember now. I remember as the chase is ending by. The 23-year-old suspect, Lamont Rashid, was arrested and charged with DUI, fleeing, and reckless driving, among other crimes. Police oh, yeah. also found a pistol in the front seat, and it's unclear if Lamont was legally allowed to own it. Thankfully, nobody was hurt during the chase, and Lamont went quietly without further incident. What's the legal age to own a gun in America? If you're going to run from the police, you should probably know how to handle the car you're driving. DeAndre Lucky didn't get that message when he tried fleeing from Arkansas State Police in his Dodge Charger. It was May 24th of 2024. Hmm. State Trooper Robert Plyer pulled behind DeAndre's Charger and followed him into a Circle K gas station. He should have known this suspect wasn't there to fill his tank. And he's out of there. Very fair. Never mind. He's gonna try again. All I'm saying that was a bad attempt at escape. Unless that was planned.
According to the police report, DeAndre wiggled free when Trooper Plyer stepped out of his cruiser to make an arrest. He got back in and followed the Charger as it turned onto South University Avenue. DeAndre had his sights on the highway. He just couldn't decide what on-ramp he wanted to take. On-ramp? The hell do you mean by on-ramp? Can someone explain that to me? According to Trooper Plyer's report, Jesus. DeAndre fled to a nearby apartment complex. Once inside, he broke into a woman's home and ordered her to hide him. Thankfully, she escaped and flagged down nearby officers. They went inside and arrested DeAndre without further incident. Right. Back at the crash site, police found a loaded Glock 29 in the driver's seat. In hindsight, the woman was lucky that DeAndre left it behind before breaking into her home. Yeah, no kidding. August 10th of 2024, Arkansas State Trooper Blaine Middlecoff was responding to the area around Highway 158 near the Tennessee border. There was an active bolo, or be on the lookout, for a Dodge Charger that had been stolen from Memphis the night before. Around 6.30 that night, Trooper Middlecoff spotted a Charger matching the stolen vehicle's description. He pulled behind and got close enough to read the tags. This car thief was smart enough to change the performance car's VIN, but dumb enough not to swap the license plates. Trooper he Middlecoff confirmed it was the stolen vehicle they were looking for, and well the chase was on. You're so smart. He's partially smart. He's not smart fully. Not fully smart. GPS 80 and oh, over 100 miles per hour. We actually have a speed cam or dash cam with a speedometer. Welcome back. That's that stuff stained my hands. Of course it would. <laughs> These long Arkansas straightaways give our job. suspect a slight edge. He gets his Hellcat over 160 mm. miles per hour as he blows through stop signs and roars past oncoming cars. Right. Meanwhile, uh -huh. our officer has to slow tiny. down at each intersection. Public safety yet. is his top priority. Uh -huh. Soon, it becomes like, hard to tell if Trooper Middlecoff can even see back. the fleeing car. He uh -huh. can only assume the suspect kept going straight. If he no, turned, it would force too. him to slow down, allowing police to catch up. After a few minutes, the stolen car comes back into view. It just wasn't the scene Trooper Middlecoff was expecting. Oh boy. Can you hear me crunching? No. Okay, good. I don't think people. he wrecked out. Good, I meant, ah, right, okay. Yeah, four, Go here and look, sorry, he wrecked out. He, he crashed. Oh, he ha that was a hard wreck. The car is practically up on fire. He wrecked out here in Luxora. What? Is he still there? Were you in that car? You got hit? Well then, where did their suspect go? John's right. I'm gonna check this car out. I'm gonna see if he's in there. His car's on fire. Yeah, that's you. Hi. Trooper Middlecoff walked over and arrested a man named Devondre James. 
He was in rough shape and leaned against the house near the crash site. He claimed the Hellcat driver hit him and fled the scene, but our officer saw clean through his lie. He <laughs> was the Hellcat driver. Paramedics arrived and airlifted Devondre to a hospital while firefighters dealt with his stolen Hellcat. Once he was stable and ready for release, police slapped the cuffs on and officially arrested him for his joyride. As for the Charger, we don't think the owner wants it back in this condition. No, they should be given a new one. When we refer to Dodge Chargers as Hellcats, I'm we're talking risky, about right the now. engine, Boy. not the car itself. The Hellcat you know, engine is a my, supercharged 6.2-liter V8. It debuted in the 2015 yes. Dodge Challenger SRT you know, Coupe and has been setting records Duh. ever since. Today's Hellcats <laughs> can hit speeds <laughs> well over 200 it. miles per hour. Right, Take this really orange fast. supercar from Arkansas, for example. Like On January 5th of 2023, state I trooper Shane Cavanis yes, pulled behind yes, a Hellcat should. that had already given police a run for their money. It was about to give them another. Sit over there if you want. He gone. I lost them. The suspect keeps his distance, vanishing into the night as Trooper Cavanis tries his best to keep pace. Even at 130 miles per hour, his cruiser is no match for the V8 engine. If he wants to catch this crook, he'll have to pull a few risky moves. What kind of risky moves are we talking? He hates to admit it, but this Hellcat outperforms Trooper Cavanis in every way. He eventually radios in, telling dispatch that he likely lost the driver. He's not going to be happy about that. Oh, do you know what I realize? When, when they catch a suspect, I can join them. <laughs> Down the ground. It's unclear if the police ever found this guy. Even though yeah, Trooper Cavanis could Kenji read the suspect's does plates, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. The driver could have easily changed their plates and fled to a different state. Ah, so one did get away. August 31st Man. of 2023, Arkansas State Trooper Chris Davenport has his eyes on two female suspects in Craighead County. They had recently assaulted a woman and stolen her rental car, a gray Dodge Charger, and were spotted fleeing through the narrow back roads. When Trooper Davenport arrived, he found the suspects trying to evade the Craighead County Sheriff's Department. The women had turned around in a private driveway and aimed themselves at police officers. Then, the driver made a dangerous U-turn, drove over the lawn, took the charger off-road, and skipped back onto the road. While she may have lost the Sheriff's Department, there was no escaping Trooper Davenport. At least, for now. Yeah, for now, anyway. <laughs> Most, interesting way to do a gender reveal. most women drivers do not get away from the cops. Cops. Yeah, y you would probably get away. Because you would be, you'd be on a bike. Mm. Alright, I'm placing my bets. She gets caught. Place your bets so she get caught. Um, 
We Have pick a... up the chase in Trooper Drum's vehicle, and we'll stay wait, with wait, him until the face? end. He keeps on their tail for several miles yeah, and watches as the driver <laughs> weaves between lanes and nearly takes out several civilian cars. This is all different areas of Arkansas. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, I could be very wrong. If I get if I get um battered in the comments. Like, how do you, how do you not know where Arkansas the chase is? Continues, and our charger <laughs> thieves are feeling the pressure. That's when the driver turns like, sharply into I'm a church American. parking lot and almost <laughs> loses to her drum. I don't care. <laughs> Baptist, northbound. Green 715, northbound. The amount, the amount of Americans that um, I think they have distant relatives in Ireland. Up where, ahead, where loud the dirt have road a bad becomes accent. Trooper Drum's worst enemy and best yeah, yeah, friend. True. While he can't see the suspects, the dust cloud tells him exactly where they're going. That's true, it does tell them where they're going. She's not going that way too. We're, we're northbound. Watch how Trooper uh, Drum uses the dust cloud to make the right call at this fork in the road. Mm. He turns right, stayed on 715. They're saying 715, but I don't see no 715. They're on pavement again. I don't have dust cloud to follow. Unfortunately, the dirt road detour helped our suspects pull ahead of Trooper Drum. He doesn't regain visual until the end, when he learns the suspects crashed into a wooden fence. Oh, they crashed out. Or did they crash out? She's rolling through the fence in the yard. Airbags are deployed. Can you see that? The driver, 32-year-old Brianna See, Hughes, was arrested and charged with <laughs> fleeing, reckless driving, and first-degree assault. Her passenger, 49-year-old Misty Brewer, was free to go, as police didn't believe or couldn't prove that she had anything to do with Brianna's crimes. According to reports, Brianna was on probation and had been released from Greene County Jail only three days before this chase. Jeez. It was the second time she'd run from police in the past two years. If we had to guess, it won't be the last. As great, they great say, job. The this time it's a great job. The yep. charm. <laughs> On March 6th of 2020, Arkansas State Trooper Nick Burrelson was heading north on I-530 when he spotted a black Dodge Hellcat coming down the on-ramp at a high rate of speed. He got behind the suspect and kept pace at around 80 miles per hour. That's when he noticed a tinted cover over the driver's license plate. He'd have to get closer to read the tags and learn more about the driver. Luckily, Damn. Trooper Burrelson saw the tag number before the suspect pulled away, leading to this high-speed chase through Arkansas. 
I mean, 80 miles an hour is not even that bad. Let's be real. Nelson learned that the vehicle was registered to an address in Bryant, Arkansas. If he can't catch the suspect now, at least he knows where the guy likely lives. Meanwhile, Trooper Bob Love was pulled over on the shoulder a few miles up the highway, waiting to assist. He joined the chase when the suspect screamed by at over 100 miles per hour. Shouldn't you buy clothes before Troy goes out? Brian, Arkansas, and I've got it. I'm not going to start close before I get close. Due to the heavy Once traffic and the suspect's no, high rate of speed, Once Trooper Burrelson anyway. and Love were uh -huh. ordered to terminate the chase. They had the suspect's like, um, name and address, after oh, yeah, all. We'll However, when they went to the like, listed address, like, there was no sign of the like, black charger. Like, they also couldn't prove like the owners where, were the ones driving that guys. day. So like, In an ironic twist, the anymore. registered owner, Nick Davis, was arrested about a month later for an unrelated chase. He was charged with fleeing, possession of a controlled substance, and reckless driving. Mm. She has a random cut on her finger. She doesn't know where it came from. Now I have random cut on my Police finger. Police cruisers where it came can from. only go so <laughs> fast. Performance cars like BMWs, Corvettes, and Hellcats can Mike easily outpace that. most highway so patrol officers. Mm -hmm. Police mm -hmm. must also consider other people and their safety, whereas suspects only care about themselves. On November 4th of 2022, Florida Highway Patrol officers in Columbia County spotted what they believed to be a stolen there, Hellcat. Uh, Those suspicions were confirmed around 6.30 a.m. when officers pulled behind the vehicle and the suspect hit the gas. The performance car reached 160 miles per hour as it pulled ahead of the police. Our pursuing officer could only try his best to keep up. Can he keep up this time? And the thing lasts really long with this pen. I love more than my other pens. Up ahead, mm. our trooper's fellow officers managed to hit the fleeing so vehicle with, with spike it. strips. The driver After eventually so crashed strokes. into the median, and police moved in to make an arrest. Oh, there he is. Peek. You do a lot of peeking today, sir. Peeking comfy. the doors i think he locked the doors unfortunately the suspects were quick on their feet and fled the scene before police arrived at the car but don't worry these hellcat thieves didn't make it far officers had captured all three suspects I by 1 30 that the afternoon they were the arrested and charged and with paint. grand theft <laughs> fleeing police and obstructing justice their stolen totally hellcat control. may have been able to outrun yeah. police in the short term but it couldn't run forever if you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, we did. thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.